I posted videos for three years on Brother Phil's channel, the African Diaspora News Channel. I posted videos for, for three years. And all of a sudden, I met Brother Phil through Brother Rock Newman. I did an interview uh, in 2018. We met in 2019. And he opened up the doors on his platform, uh, the African Diaspora News Channel, to post. And uh, I posted hundreds of videos over three years on Phil's channel. When, when YouTube banned one of my channels, uh, uh, Phil distanced himself from me. I came back for a short time, but it was never really the same. I went on ahead and made a decision because it was just, I just felt like it was more rules and stipulation because Phil, his first and foremost pro priority is to protect his channel because that's one of the main ways how he feeds his family. So he's very sensitive about obeying the community and not ruffling the feathers too much. Um, and so, so we parted ways. And after that, we really f uh, fell out of touch. I tried to stay in touch with Phil. At one point, I tried to come back on the channel and then he started ignoring me um, and never really been the same since. And so I, I realized that he had deleted every last one of my videos on his channel without telling me. And so I sent him an email today and I said, um, good morning, Brother Phil and Brother uh, Kellen, his, um, his assistant. I said, I pray all is well with you and your families. I connected because they connected me with a sister. And Kenya Phil did respond to one email I sent them three weeks ago. But uh, but he's really completely tried to distance himself from me and now deleted all of my videos. And I just wanted to know why he couldn't have told me that when we had a personal relationship. You know, I'm not just some nobody who popped up on Phil's channel. I was on his channel for three years. I met Phil in person. I've met his wife. I've met his children. I've died. I've been in his home. He's come to my home and I was staying one time in Houston. I mean. Uh, we used to talk almost on a daily basis. So obviously, brothers and sisters, I'm not a robot. Uh, that hurts, you know, when, you know, when our relationship was outside of just posting content and then I wake up and you don't even give me the courtesy as a brother to tell me that you're going to have to delete hundreds of my videos. I didn't deserve that right. I didn't earn the right to, for you to at least tell me that. And then now to and then when I email him, then he has his assistant email me as if he's not seeing my emails, as if he's too big to respond to me. That's ridiculous. And it hurts. It's like, brother, you can respond to me. Don't act like you don't know me. Like I just came out of the blue moon. And then that's the, that's it. When, when I had a personal relationship with you and yes, I, I was posting content and, and brother Phil was gracious enough to where he would cut some of his content creators, you know, a check. But I mean, um, when you have a channel that big, you're making an extraordinary amount of money. And I personally helped coach Phil one time, uh, he did a 56 day juice fast. And I was keeping up. We was talking almost every day and he did a remarkable job and even gave me credit on one of his videos and then also on uh, on the community. So it's just about being honest. You know, that's all I ask. So, for instance, I don't work with, you know, uh, right now me and me and Rock Newman decided to part ways because brother Rock Newman, when I when we came back, we did two events together. But after our last event, Brother Rock sat me down and said, hey, minister, you know, Nathaniel, you know, you have religious beliefs and moral positions that I'm just not comfortable with. And so I don't think we can continue in the same capacity. Brother Rock Newman was honest with we sat down and talked face to face. OK, that's cool. My co uh, I had a coach named Willie Jolly. Willie Jolly, uh, he's a personal friend of Les Brown, who I've talked to. These are rich men. And uh, he makes 20,000 US dollars an hour. And he felt that he could help me make that type of money. But when he saw my moral positions, he said, he said, Nathaniel, 
He said, if you're going to maintain these positions, I can't help you, son. You have to make a decision. Either you want me to help you make corporate money or you're going to have your moral positions with the understanding you're going to lose a lot of money. And I said, my first and primary concern is pleasing the Lord. And he said, OK, well, understand, son, is I can't help you. Then I can give you advice in other areas of life, which he has. But when it comes to making money, you, you've chosen not to do that. And I said, OK. And he respect me for that. See, that's honesty. That's all I ask for. But I, but brother Phil, it's like, brother, why are you just going? You going to delete three years of health videos that was helping you, and you're going to delete three years of videos of a man that was person that was that was coaching your wife, and did all that I could to help your family, and I never charged you a dime. And yes, I was posting content on your videos, but you was benefiting just like I was benefiting. It's a benefit to have other people posting content on your channel, but he wouldn't have all the other content creators. So it's like you couldn't give the minister of wellness. You couldn't give me the common courtesy of saying, hey, brother, I'm going to be honest with you because of your positions, your radical stances, man. I hate to say this, Nathaniel, but brother, I have to completely separate myself from you. And so I'm going to have to remove all three years worth of your videos. You couldn't get you couldn't say that to your brother. I have to reach out to you after I'm trying to look for videos that I know that I've done on your channel. And then his assistant, brother Kellen, reaches out to me. And says regarding the missing content on YouTube, the pl platform's policies significantly influenced this situation. So pretty much YouTube, they let YouTube convince them to take off three years of my videos. We, which conflicts with YouTube's policies, we made the tough decision to remove these videos based on wise counsel, my videos that is. They said wise counsel told them to take away three years of my videos. But my question is, why couldn't you tell me that as a man? Why you couldn't tell me that man to man? Like Brother Rock Newman said, hey, minister, we can't do uh, any other events together. I have to distance myself from you because of your positions that you don't want to change. Dr. Willie Jolly said, hey, minister, I can't put you in front of the people who can pay you 10, 20, even though you have the gift to do it. You could be the highest paid speaker, motivation speaker. I can't help you, my brother. You got to take this book down. You have this exemption form, brother. You, you're too radical. I can't do, I have to be honest with you. I love you, but I, I can't, I only can do so much. And I said, cool, at least let me talk to Les Brown. Can I at least talk to Les Brown and tell him how much I thank him? And he called him and put him on the phone. And Les Brown spent five minutes joning on how deep my voice is. It was hilarious. But why? I, all I was asking for was the same respect. And that's why, Brother Phil, because like, you know you're wrong. And I'm going to respond to this email and I'm going to tell him, you know you're wrong. And I'm going to clip this video so people can see it. I'm going to clip this video so people can who's wondering why isn't the minister of wellness on Phil's channel? Why can't I find his videos on Phil's channel? I'm going to clip this video so everybody can know what happened. They deleted all of my videos, three years of videos that were helping our people, helping him and his family. I personally coached him and his family and met them. And I get treated like I'm just some nobody who just came on there. That's wrong. He said, given YouTube's discretion over his platform and your public stance on vaccines, which conflicts YouTube's policy, we made the tough decision to remove these videos. The priority was to protect the channel, especially considering the challenges you face with your own YouTube channel. Despite these setbacks, it's important to focus on the positives your compensation for contributions and the success in selling products and acquiring count client clients through our audience it's not about money it's about morals and principles your donations were critical to help me come over to the motherland and help to feed these beautiful children that you see uh, and so as you see them eating fruit that from your support supporting local kenyan farmers to feed these beautiful children food and what i asked you all and what i was telling you all was that 
we did not just want to feed the children the fruit today okay many of them will be going back to their parents and they can't afford healthy fruit and so it is up to us brothers and sisters that have to work together to make sure that we are that we are doing the first and foremost commission that God has given us and that is to be a blessing to the fatherless a blessing to the widows so please your hundred dollar seed goes a long way in helping to feed the children so that long after I go I want them to have the, the fruits that they need to grow up be healthy and strong many of them told me that they wanted to be a police officer who's the one that say want to be a police officer and then we had a child that said she want to be a nurse wants to be a firefighter wants to be a medical doctor and now they understand that they have to eat the medicine foods of God to do that I'm not a man that's all about money and I wouldn't be doing the positions on the medical decisions. I would change all of that. It's not about money. It's about morals, integrity, and principles. And you don't remove hundreds of videos of a man that personally coached you, your wife, and your children and met you and talk to you every day and then delete all of my videos and then don't even have the courage to tell me man to man you don't do that that's wrong it's not about money i am thankful i'm thankful for the opportunity i am but it's just, just like i thank brother rock newman i'm thankful dr boyce watkins he hasn't deleted all of my videos I'm not on Dr. Boyce platforms, but he hasn't deleted all of my videos because he has a more of a, ain't nobody going to dictate to me what I, what the truth on my channel, Dr. Boyce has more of a, he has more of a spirit closer to me. Whereas I just read you feels his perspective is at all costs, we protect our 1.7 million subscribers so we can keep the money rolling. But Dr. Boyce, why hasn't he deleted all my videos? Because he has more of the mentality like me that, hey, listen, I'm not going to let the man, the system, white supremacy, whatever, you're not going to dictate to me. If somebody is on my platform standing on the truth, I'm going to support them. I don't care whose toes it steps on. I used to talk to this man every day. Anytime he needed health questions, anytime his wife needed questions, they could call me and I was there for them. I understand decisions that I've made. And in the end, brothers and sisters, in the end, um, I know that there's nothing that I teach you all that's not going to help you in your health in your healing journey i don't care the you know whether it's talking about the medical decision abortion homosexuality meat eating killing animals you know as i learn and progress i teach the truth but that's why i stay so hard on this being a no leech ministry uh, because like i tell these children here in the motherland as i tell them i have made great sacrifices to be out here and as you see, I'm out here. So everything happens for a reason. And I'm still standing. I'm still strong. And what people have to realize is that in the end, again, it's about integrity. That's all. This is about integrity and being in honesty. Um, but I will still be doing what I'm doing. Don't no man, no woman, no platform give credit to where I'm at in my life. God gets all the glory, praise, and honor, and I serve him and him alone. And I answer to the Lord alone. And I fear no man, no platform, no nothing. We have everything in stock, brothers and sisters, except for the DHA EPA, it'll be back soon. But all orders are caught up, our inventory is full. Listen, when you support the Minister of Wellness Ministries online store at the retail cost, it truly helps us out. 
because we use the profits to fund critical ministry expenses, such as funding our missionary work, financially supporting our small team of workers and paying the thousands of dollars of monthly bills related to running this healing ministry. Running sales are great on rare occasions, but overall, they hurt the financial health of the ministry. I know you all love them, but overall, it hurts the financial health of the ministry. So please consider this next time you're in need of supplementation. The Minister of Wellness labeled and approved organic Irish sea moss, organic vitamin C, organic superfood powder, herbal extracts, and much more of the highest quality and potent a brand you can always trust but also you can have the peace and joy of knowing that every dime of profit is being used to support this one-of-a-kind revolutionary healing ministry if you need help placing an order please call 888-847-8026 that's 888-847-8026 call or text that number 888-847-8026 or you can visit our vast online store at theministerofwellness.com knowledge is power brothers and sisters don't forget about your knowledge uh, i am the author of five books your minister of wellness five books lose 100 pounds in 100 days that's a book based on a real life life testimonial help the brother lose 100 pounds in 100 days his exact meal plan and exercise plan is in that book, along with the 12 components of food addiction at the end. Biblical principles that eradicate obesity and all disease. It covers the top killers and how eating healthy a change in what we eat can help eradicate those diseases according to to the word of God, exposing the deadly slave theology of the black church concerning health and nutrition. Uh, Jesus will bless you, your junk food, saying grace uh, under the new covenant. We don't need to worry about the dietary laws. These critical theological issues revolving food, nutrition and our walk with Christ is covered in that book exposing the satanic religion of the you know what such an important yet controversial book i can't even show the cover on the screen and then the latest book that i made right here for the motherland is the homosexual war that's being waged to remove africa from god's divine protection the minister of wellness.com under books the minister of wellness.com under books or call 888 Eight four seven eighty twenty six. Call or text eight 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 four seven eighty twenty six eight 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 four seven eighty twenty six. So that's the update on that, and I will make this a video. Um, Philip Scott, African Diaspora News Channel, deletes three years, hundreds of the Minister of Wellness videos. Um, without even letting me know. And and I respond to him, you know, on this email that he didn't respond to. He sent Kellen to respond to when I communicated with Phil directly for three years. The the very white devils that you preach so hard against on your platform, you're gonna let them punk you into taking down hundreds of the minister of wellness video when I am the only minister of wellness for the African diaspora. To me, that was a cowardly thing to do. And then to not even let me know after all the time that the personal time I invested into helping you and your wife and your children to get healthier and you know you benefited from my videos and me personally coaching you you know you benefited from me you had the minister of wellness as a personal coach and you gonna treat me like this and act like you can't respond to my email but then he will whine about how O'Shea Jackson did him he will whine about that when we would talk about how O'Shea Jackson did him when he left him. But then you do me the same way. 
You just going to cast me aside like I'm some leper. Cowards don't go down as legends. Real legacy, a true legend, a man whose name lives on forever. He bows to no one. And he gets away from the computer. He goes to the streets and he face the enemy head on. That's how you build a legacy. On the ground, the old fashioned way. Meet the enemy head on face to face. And you can't stop a man who fears no one and nothing but the Lord. What you gonna do when there is no YouTube? What you gonna do? Come from behind that computer screen and come stand with your brother and let's meet these devils head on that you talk so much about. White supremacy, white supremacy, white supremacy. But you let the white supremacist tell you to delete three years of videos of the only minister of wellness in the world. Let's go to these schools. Let's go to the highways and the byways. Let's get off of the computer and let's come be foot soldiers like the real legends are. Moses, the prophet, even the prophet Muhammad, wh whoever legend you talk about, even other religions, Buddha, Moses, Abraham, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. You can't become a legend from a YouTube channel. Those men's name live on because they got on the ground. They did the work on the ground. They feared no one. They didn't fear death. They didn't fear anything. That's why their name lives on to this day. Ain't no legends built on no YouTube channel. If you are benefiting from me as your minister of wellness, if I helped you with your health, if you are binge watching my videos, tuning into the services, I am telling you on the authority of the Holy Scriptures, you have a responsibility to help me when you see where your money is going. It's not going towards a fancy car. It's not going towards big homes. It's going towards helping the fatherless, helping those who are in need. And that is a great responsibility that we all have. So again, you know where the, the, the information is, where you can give so that we can provide uh, not only this children's center here, but other children's centers, not only just all across Kenya, but all throughout the motherland and eventually all throughout the world. So I sincerely thank you all for your support. And for those who see this, and you are one of those who continuously benefit from my ministry. I want you to take a look at all of these beautiful children here. And I'm telling you right now, if you don't give to help me to be a support to these children, shame on you. And I am disappointed in you. And I know you can do better than that. Thank you. And God bless you all. All right, family. So that's it. That's what that's what happened with me. That's why I'm a no longer on the African Diaspora News Channel. Uh, I will clip this and um, so everybody, so the world can see what happened um, between the Minister of Wellness and the African Diaspora News Channel. I thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for everyone. Brother Ricky gave $10 through Cash App. We have PayPal to Family Zelle. It's all there on the bottom of the screen. And so I appreciate you all for your love and support. If you go to the ministerofwellness.com, again, the online store, we have vitamins, minerals, herbal extracts, sea moss. And just consider when you're looking at the price, brothers and sisters, that you're not just uh, paying for. You're not just paying for um, the quality of the product, which you are is great quality, but. You're also paying to support the work of a man uh, who refuses, who refuses uh, brothers and sisters to, you know, to let the minions of Satan tell me what I am and am not going to say. The most important package that I have for this time is the immune support emergency stash. So this is when, not if, when. 
the next deadly pandemic comes and, and when we're locked back down, you don't want somebody coughing in your household and they don't have anything for their immune system. This is the time to get it. It'll be impossible to have these in stock when the masses are panicking. It's already priced at 50 percent off. You don't need a promo code. Get your stash for your immune system. The Minister of Wellness dot com. The Minister of Wellness dot com. This is the second package that I have. The Black Health Disparities Package. If you have comorbidities, you're not going to stand a chance. This package covers obesity, blood pressure, immune, diabetes with the blood sugar, and all diseases fall under inflammation. You get all five. There's no promo code needed. It's already it's already priced at half off, 50% off. No promo code needed. The Minister of Wellness.com. The Minister of Wellness. Dot com. The big five brothers and sisters that are the most important, that is absolutely essential or you will be deficient. If you're deficient, you can't have an optimal immune system for the next pandemic. Vitamin D3 with K2, D3 with K2, B12, DHA, EPA and zinc. Those are the big five. And we have those five available, organic, high quality and potent. The Minister of Wellness dot com on the store. The Minister of Wellness dot com on the store. Or click the link in the description box in pin comment section.